Warhol was an American artist, filmmaker, and leader of the pop art movement. He was born with the name Andrew Warhola on August 6, 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. His parents were Slovakian immigrants named Andre and Julia Warhola. At the age of eight, Andy contracted chorea, a rare disease that attacked the nervous system and was bedridden for months. During this time, his mother, who was a skilled embroiderer and artist, introduced him to the arts. She gave him his first drawing lessons and Warhol began drawing to pass the time. He was also fascinated by movies and his passion for film and photography blossomed. As a child, Warhol would take free art classes at the Carnegie Institute, the same university that he later attended and received a Bachelor of Fine Arts from. Despite the pop art style that he is most known for, Warhol was a classically trained artist that started his career as a fine artist. After after graduating, Warhol moved to New York City where he worked at Glamour Magazine. He became one of the most successful commercial artists of the 1950s for his unique early style. After traveling around the world to places like India, Japan, Italy, Egypt, and Cambodia, Warhol realized that he could step out of the commercial art he was making and shift over to the style we know him for today. In 1961, Warhol released the idea of pop art, paintings that focused on mass production and consumerism. His fame grew in 1962 when he released his paintings of Campbell soup cans and Coca-Cola bottles. These everyday items presented as paintings shook the art world. In the next year, Warhol began mass producing similar images with silkscreen press, so instead of creating paintings, he made prints. He began focusing on printing images of celebrities like Shot Marilyn's, Liz Taylor, and Mick Jagger. As you can see, a lot of his art was focused on using a primary color palette. Warhol also opened a studio called The Factory in 1964 in New York where he hosted lavish parties with famous celebrities. Liza Minnelli, Madonna, David Bowie, John Lennon, and Yoko Ono are just some of the celebrities that joined him there. This is around the time that Warhol became a large part of New York drag culture. It became one with the art movement that was formed at the factory. Warhol even posed in drag in some of his photographs. Tragically, in 1968, Warhol was shot by a woman named Valerie Salanas, allegedly because Warhol had refused a script she had written for a film. Although Warhol recovered, he had to wear a surgical corset for the rest of his life. Prior to the shooting, Warhol had already developed an interest in violent themes in his art and created a death and disaster series that depicted tragic accidents, but after the shooting, this theme continued, and he created prints of guns and skulls. In 1969, Warhol created his own magazine called Interview that featured reviews and interviews with celebrities, artists, musicians, and other creators. In 1975, Warhol worked on a series called Ladies and Gentlemen that depicted portraits of trans and drag people, and activists like the iconic gay liberation activist Marsha P. Johnson. Warhol was part of the LGBTQ community, so it's no wonder that his art incorporated this theme, from his early work of male sketches to his representation of trans women and drag portraits in the 70s. Also in the 70s, Warhol explored books and films in more depth. He created more than 60 films in his career and wrote The Philosophy of Andy Warhol, portraits of the 70s and Warhol's exposures. He even moved on to TV shows in the 80s and created Andy Warhol's TV and Andy Warhol's 15 Minutes on MTV. Warhol's 15 Minutes with Debbie Harry. Andy, um, don't you love drag queens? Drag queen is such a, it's, it's a down word. See, it should be an up word. Andy Warhol died on February 22, 1987 at the age of 54 from cardiac arrest after surgery complications. Until today, there is still a debate about whether his art was a critique of America's consumerism and obsession with celebrity, or if it was a celebration of it. His legacy lives on as one of the most notable modern artists, not just within pop art, but throughout all of history. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like! Share it with a fellow art nerd, and if you love receiving quality and free arts education, subscribe. If you'd like to support Wing Canvas, become a member on YouTube or Patreon. You'll get access to our private art community and cool perks like classes and critiques. With your help, we can continue making art education easily accessible to everyone.